River Rizi is the major source of water supply to the districts of Umbarara, Liantonde, Isinjiro and Kiruhura. The river that has been here for ages has many tributaries that feed into many lakes including Lake Mburo, Nakivale, Kijanabarora and Kachera before discharging the water into Lake Victoria. But the river is now under serious threat due to heavy degradation. It now has less water and the entire flow has been affected. Like all rivers and streams, River Rizi starts from a high point. The water flows from the hills down to the lower points as it picks up more water from small streams, springs or from the rain. In the past, the streams used to join together slowly to pour into the larger River Rizi, but this is not the case anymore. Almost the tributary rivers have been disintegrated by encroachment. You find the flow pattern has changed, and because of that, there is a lot of lowering of the water table in the river. Ways. The river flows through thick wetlands in the valley between hills. There is not much activity here. People have dug drainage channels into the wetlands to divert the water into the nearby gardens. The wetlands could soon dry up. They are putting in drainage channels to avail land for cropping. It is not for irrigation purposes. You know the water table is always high in a wetland. So they make drainage channels to lower the water table so that they create a dry land where they practice agricultural cropping or where they start developing the animal farm for grazing. The banks of River Rizi have over the years been very swampy, but due to lots of human activity and people settling here, the swamps have been cleared for crop farming, which has actually seen the river lose plenty of its water, which is sucked up by the crops that these people grow. Cabbages, greens and maize are some of the common grown crops. These grow fast and do well in waterlogged areas. But why do residents invade these wetlands? We are cooking for cool temperatures. The upload area is often dry during certain season and we need water for our crops which is readily available here in the wetland. The papyrus which acts as a water holding agent is being cut down for craft making leaving the river water to increase its run of speed without being filtered, hence a reduction in the river water levels since a reduced runoff increases the pressure of the river flow. Further downstream, residents who live near the river are mining sand and as such, the river is now shallow at some points. Residents here refer to this spot as no man's land. This has lowered proper function of the river which has now produced dirty, unfiltered water. These are activities which are very, very difficult to regulate. But we know that we must regulate it and give them permits and even we submit, request them to conduct the environmental impact assessment. But you know the, the community members. When you ask him who owns this land, he will, he will take almost like a month without knowing who owns the land. But what are the Mbarara district officials doing about this rampant sand mining that has greatly degraded the river but brought a lot of money to the miners? We are trying to come up with council resolution so that we put a fee so that that fee when it is generated, maybe at time T, it can be plugged back for rehabilitation of those open pits and excavated pits. District officials have allowed other sustainable activities to take place in the wetland to try manage the excessive use of the wetland. Harvesting mulching material like uh, 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 fishing, uh, that one is uh, uh, an allowed activity. Traditional grazing is also allowed in the wetland but what is very, very important is to know that as he is grazing, he should not claim ownership. The ownership remains with government. Restoration of some wetlands near the riverbanks is ongoing, 
with a few eucalyptus trees being planted on the uplands. People have also been evicted from some areas to give room for the natural vegetation to regenerate. But the water that feeds into the wetlands surrounding the river is contaminated with minerals washed from the neighboring areas that have heavy pollutants making it hard water. River conservation is a very important aspect of the environment and if not done, many rivers now under threat due to human activities will soon disappear, meaning the natural resources from therein will be no more. Craig Kadoda, NTV, Ikotok. Thank mm -hmm. you.